James Harden, KD. Lord have mercy. Kyrie who? At least for the moment, we'll talk about that. Plus Patrick Mahomes, will he be available for this Sunday? Will the Buffalo Bills win if they don't have him in Kansas City? That and more coming up. First take in the house. Deshaun Watson, Houston, Texas. I ain't forget that either. Oh, it's a lot coming on. Crews in the house. Together! Let's go. James Harden in his second game as a member of the Nets. Team gets it to the rack and he puts it down. Harden showing the complete bag of tricks. And finds Giannis. Lopez for three. Finds the rack for three. Yes. So the next one, 125, 123. Middleton is three-point territory. Fires in and out. And the Nets hold on for the victory in a dramatic finish. Barbies. We were young uh, in Oklahoma City. You know, we're, we're grown men now. You know, we know what we want. We know, we really know the game of basketball now. Um, you know, we're not those young guys that just run around and want to just shoot and, and dunk all day. We know the games. We know spots. We know, you know, teams play. We just, we're more advanced. Well, we pretty much seen every defense, every offensive scheme. We done been in every type of game, playoffs, game sevens, you know. So we done been through a lot in this league, experienced a lot. And, um, for us to bring it together now and, and, and combine what we've learned over this time and try to play great basketball, I think it was pretty seamless for us. No question. Reunited and it feels so good. Katie and Harden and the tray of us. Stephen A. Smith, Max Kellerman, I'm Molly Karen Rose. Welcome into First Take. Thank you for spending your part of the day with us. Good to see y'all. Guys. Yeah. I mean, together. I, mean, fist bump. I would hug you, but I can't. All right. Well, we need to talk about this, though. Yeah. Unreal. Harden and KD taking care of business. No Kyrie. Kyrie missing his seventh game due to personal reasons. Steve Nash said he is available to play on Wednesday. Stephen A., do you think these two are a championship duo, even if they don't have Kyrie, if they're not going to be a big three in the end? I said it yesterday. I'll say it again today. Brooklyn Nets going to the finals. Mm. They're going to the finals. I'm no apologize. Sorry, sorry, Philadelphia. Doc Rivers, my brother, I love you. Sorry, Philadelphia. You saw Ben Simmons shoot that three the other day, right? So, I mean, damn. The worst he, miss he, I've ever he, seen. He, in my he, life. he got closer to the rim than you would. I mean, it's ridiculous, Max Kellerman. I mean, you got that situation. Milwaukee. I love what I saw last night because we saw Giannis drop 34. We saw Drew Holiday drop 20 and 22, and Chris Middleton as well. And they still lost. This is exactly what I'm talking about here because when it's time to close the deal, we're talking about Kevin Durant. Let me tell you something right now. I mean, are you, 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 you were worried, Max Kellerman. You hmm. never questioned the game of Kevin Durant. You never did that. You were never that sacrilegious. You were never that blasphemous. You were never that. You never committed such a, a heinous act. But you did bring in the question. You did act like you were the modern day orthopedic surgeon or something like that. I mean, you did act like one of those dudes. I mean, I've never seen anybody come back from this injury. I mean, you see that, Mal Molly? Yeah. You see that? It's Achilles tear. I mean, nobody's ever done it. And I said to you, Max. It ain't Dominique Wilkins, man, even though he came back from it pretty nicely at one we point. We threw out I mean, WNBA that, players his, for his, you his, that came his back. His athleticism. Yeah. His athleticism. It ain't Russell Westbrook. It ain't somebody like that. We're talking about a sniper. An elite sniper. The likes of which this game has never seen. Molly, I will remind mm. you that the leading scorer in NBA history ever is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah. And we once had a discussion years and years ago, long before you were on this show, Max, where we literally sat up there and said, like, this, this, this is the one dude that got a chance to catch he Kareem started Abdul-Jabbar. So young. Yeah. If he wanted to. If he wanted to be aggressive. If he wanted to jack up 25 to 30 shots a game. That's who KD is. And off of an Achilles tear, 18 months out of business, First 10, 11 games of the season. I said he could average 25 in the sleep. Remember, I said it right here. Yeah. Book it. He going to do 25. Oh, no, no, no. I was wrong. The brother's dropping 30. Mm. 30 a game on better than 50% shooting, better than 40% shoot from three-point range. He's just that dude. And Harden, Harden, supposedly out of shape, supposedly a little bloated, even though he's going to be in shape really quickly. Okay? That dude. The one who's averaged 30 over the last three games. We forgot what a point guard he can be when he wants to be. How he can be unselfish. How he's willing to pass the ball. How he's not willing to dribble the ball 12 times before taking a shot. We are seeing James Harden put on a show. Let me tell you something right now. This is the Eastern Conference. And no matter what anybody says, the East ain't the West. Even though it's a little stronger, it's not the West. Of course, Brooklyn could come to the finals with the. I ain't say they can win the chip because the Lakers waiting for you with Anthony Davis and LeBron. So you might need Kyrie for that. 
But to get to the finals, they don't even need Kyrie. Kyrie could take the rest of the year off, and Brooklyn will go to the finals. You're wrong. But I need to start by saying what KD has done is amazing. That would make Because right. it's not just 25. Oh, you said he could score 25 in his sleep. But it's his entire game. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant, like, for as much as you and others have said, well, he doesn't rely on athleticism, he's very athletic. At his size, he, like, he looks the same, which no one's ever really come back from that in the NBA, looking like the same guy before they left. <coughs> he looks the same to me. Amazing. So KD is KD. And James Harden, this dude looks like he rolled out of bed, shows up in Brooklyn looking like a hot mess, fat, out of shape, 30-point triple-double, those old man YMCA. They're playing well to agree. Dinwiddie gets hurt for the season. Mm -hmm. In order to get James Harden, they have to move Levert, who hopefully fit medically is okay because it turns out he's got... You know, yeah, he got some issues. He's got some issues. And, and Allen, right? Those are three of their best six players before the Harden trade. Mm -hmm. Half the team, really, in the rotation is gone. They are going to need someone who can really play to fill those minutes. I like Jeff Green. I like DeAndre Jordan in, in spots. But Joe Harris, I don't think, is going to be enough. I like Joe Harris a lot. They need so another dynamic player on that team for the second unit. Someone, someone to take the load off of KD, who, by the way, is coming back from an Achilles. Like, given the lack of depth on this team, what, are you going to play Harden and KD 45 minutes a night each through the playoffs? That's tough. Yes, they beat a team that has continuity, where the freak dropped 34, mm -hmm. that is built for the regular season at least, and they did it because they have two guys who can go get their own shot at the end of games. That is real. But over a long, grueling season mm -hmm. and then into the playoffs, mm -hmm. they're going to need someone to mm -hmm. take by the way, Kyrie is a chemistry issue. Mm -hmm. I know it. They're going to need him. Well, first of all, you know not of what you speak. But I understand, Max Kellerman. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. I would tell you, I would remind you a couple of things. Number one, just for not, this is not about you. In the two games that James Harden is there, he's averaging 33, 13, oh, and 9. Yeah, it's <laughs> unreal. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's the worst part. Fat. He's doing it fat. He's, he's only shooting 30% from threes. Yeah. He ain't even been shooting his percentage from threes. He shoot 48% from the field. He shoot 33, 30% from threes. He's averaging 33, 13, and 9 in the two games that he has been in Brooklyn. KD right now is at 30.6 on so 54% shooting, 48% from three-point range. Here's where you're missing the point. Defensively, they got to get their act together. Offensively, there's no issue. You know why? It's two reasons. Everybody and their mother knows is about those three. And number two, your number one option is not only incredibly unselfish, he's incredibly efficient. So Kevin Durant is the type of dude, look, and this is what, if you really, really think back to when you marveled at Michael Jordan, it wasn't just his greatness as a scorer, Molly and Max or anything mm -hmm. like that. It was the fact that Michael Jordan could sit back and go like this. Okay, y'all do what y'all, let me see what y'all got. Y'all do what y'all got to do. Literally don't shoot the ball for six, seven minutes, nine minutes or whatever, and then you struggling. Okay, give me the ball. And then bam, 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 do three shots, three, three baskets, four baskets, five baskets, whatever it took. This is what Kevin Durant does. So he does not disrupt the chemistry. He only elevates it. The, the fact of the matter is because he's so unselfish and because he's so efficient, you can afford to let James Harden, Kyrie Irving figure things out, and the rest of the personnel has no problem because Joe Harris knows shoot the damn ball when we give you an right. open shot. But Stephen that, A., are they enough to guys. take the Lakers? I get a championship Time duo out. be there, Time just out. those two. Time out. Is Max saying they're not? I've already answered that question. I said those two are enough to go to the finals. They'll yeah. probably need Kyrie to win it. Okay. You can't win the championship. I don't believe they can win the championship without Kyrie, but they can get to the finals the without Kyrie. The point you're making is about the fact that KD – Mm -hmm. On any team that ever existed mm -hmm. in any era would only ever make that team better. He's the perfect complementary piece to any team. So, so I agree. So what you're what you're really talking about is the chemistry between. I mean, Harden's either scored or assisted on 129 points in two games, Greeny, in two games. And, and, and that's why I said before, I think this is the most gifted scoring trio the league has ever seen. And we haven't even added in Kyrie Irving yet. You have a guy who is a multiple time scoring champ in James Harden, but also averages 10 assists per game. You put the ball in his hands, and then you allow him to play off of guys like Kevin Durant, who's one of the most efficient players the game has ever seen with his size and his length. 
And then when you become additive and you bring Kyrie Irving into the situation, a guy who is a wizard with the ball, who also can score in transition, I, I think it makes a unique combination of people that can get it done in a variety of different ways. But I do want to tell you this last night, Greeny. I don't think that is the headline walking away from this game last night. You said it in the last question he asked. You said, where is Giannis? That was the question I had. I don't care about what the Bucs do in a regular season anymore. They've won two regular seasons with the best record in the league two years in a row. Okay. What I care about is Giannis, the reigning defensive player of the year. How come he wasn't guarding Kevin Durant down the stretch last night? That's a matchup everybody wanted to see. Everybody's been talking trash this entire offseason about the fact that Giannis doesn't guard the primary scorer's um, you know, responsibility. That's not his. People have been calling him out. And then also down the stretch, I'm tired of Giannis being a nice guy. We watched the metamorphosis for people like Kevin Durant becoming the villain. Guys like LeBron James becoming the villain. Demanding the ball at the end the game scenario. The fact that Coach Bud drew that play up for Chris Middleton lets you know about a guy who is the highest paid player in North American sports. $45 million a year. It's time for Giannis to be that person that says, no, Coach Bud, give me the damn ball, and it's time for me to close this game out the way I know I can close it out. That's what I was waiting for last night when watching that nets butts game. I like it. And so there's obviously a lot to unpack. But let me, in the moment I have left with you here, go back to the previous thought because they're a dynamic duo right now, Harden and Durant, and they've looked very good. You said it will be additive when they bring Kyrie Irving in. Tim Legler earlier this morning told me he has a lot of concerns for how that will fit. How do you think it fits? This is going to be Kevin Durant's chance to lead his team to a world championship. People always question about, even though he was a two-time finals MVP in Golden State, well, that's Stephen Curry's team. Well, this is Kevin Durant's team now in Brooklyn.